and I don't care about your expectations of me. Whatever you did expect, whatever you did I look forward to, I don't care about that. You are going to lose your way if you try to live for everybody else and do things the way everybody else tell you, say you for the things. You don't understand other people's lives and what works for other people. The dynamic of our lives are very different. What works for you no work for me. What makes sense to you don't make sense to me. <laughs> so approximately two months ago or probably two and a half months ago one of my former high school teachers texted me and you know the regular the checking in how you been what you what you're up to what you're doing now where you work all those questions that i have no problems answering i will answer okay because me not i'm not a secret where my work or what i do or you know them look at things there eh? i don't have an issue sharing with you how i've been and you know what i do for work so she asked me and of course I shared with her what I do for work and the level of disdain. Father God, it's God alone understand because I was about to go off on her. I mean like, you know what? It not, it not make no sense. It's not worth it. I'm like, girl, are you for real? Like, are you for real? The level of this then, and then she, go, she went on to say, so you like it? I'm like, I love the money I'm being paid. Do you like her job? I bet you do. Are you being paid well? Hell no. Girl, girl, <laughs> what? I'm like, what? <laughs> I, I literally could not, I, I could not believe like that was her reaction to me telling her what I do. And it's not like it's a menial job or anything, but I bet she wanted me to say, oh, I am the manager or or some executive of some Fortune 500 company or something like that. I don't know if that's what she expected, but that was not the response she got. And I'm like, girl, if you don't stop texting my phone, I'm about to go off on you, period. Like, who are you to look down on me and what I do? I'm pretty sure I make more money than you make. No question about it. I could pay you out of what I get paid. What are you talking about? Huh? What are you really talking about? And I had to really get a grip on myself and just stop responding to her because if I had continued, I would have told her exactly what was on my mind. And I don't want to ever disrespect any of my teachers or anything like that because they have contributed to the person I am, I am today. The point I'm making with that story is people are going to talk and people I go, I go, I go look down on your hustle and whatever that you do to make a living for yourself and your family. Fine. One thing I have learned in this life is that the brand name jobs, um, the very big titles, some of these people are struggling the most. So yes, you're the manager of this and that and you're the executive of this and that company, but you are living hand to mouth still, you know? So the big name title and, 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 the, and the brand name jobs, your salary doesn't re reflect that. Your salary does not reflect these big titles and these big names. So I was smart enough to not get tied up into the titles and the big names. I am where the money resides, period. So I don't care if you want to look down on my hustle, I am pretty sure I am good with it. <laughs> I am very good with it. No, about you, ma'am. How are you? Hmm? How are you? Are you good? When I was in Jamaica, right? I was working at these same people, including that teacher. She was so happy for me. She was so happy and she was so proud and she was like, yes. But you know how much money I was making? $40,000 a month, 20,000 every two weeks. I was not okay. But yes, I was working at a brand company. I was not okay. Then I left because $40,000 a month obviously couldn't take care of me and couldn't do the things I wanted to do. And being the very ambitious girl I am, I started my master's degree, which I intended to fund from a $40,000 salary. Are you kidding me? So I left, I left that and I moved on to teaching. I absolutely hated that job i absolutely hated the job i never liked it one bit but it was paying me more than forty thousand dollars i'm not a gatekeeper of salaries i'm going to be honest about how much i was making in jamaica maybe i'm a gatekeeper how much i'm making now but <laughs> i am not going to gatekeep how much i was making in jamaica when i was a teacher in jamaica i was making 107 or 106 thousand a month something like that and I was still not okay, but I was a little bit better than I was when I was working at that media company. 
and I, 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 I just know I couldn't do it anymore because that job, that teaching job started to take a toll on my mental health. It literally started to affect my mental health and that when, that's when I said, no man, enough is enough. And I was trying to make my way out of it, but it was kind of the only job I could find at the time that allowed me to really go to school because, you know, you get your weekends off entirely, you know, you get whenever the kids get holiday, you get holidays as well. So I could use those time to study and catch up on work. So for me, the teaching job at the time was ideal. But with half of that 107000 going towards my tuition, which was a couple millions, oh my goodness, hated it. Um, <laughs> I was just left with $50-something thousand dollars for, for, for live off for the month, which also never made a sense. So I was trying to make my exit. That never worked out. I ended up, I'm now, you know, where I am now. But the point I'm making is all these titles are going to make some people... I mean, I know what to say I got up to them when them start because I didn't title here. Like these brand name jobs and these brand companies that you, and these big brand companies that we are running down to work for. The salary is not a reflection of these big brand names. I have so many friends in Jamaica and acquaintances who are working for some big time companies with some big time titles i'm telling you about executive marketing manager um brand whatever whatever manager a lot of big titles their salaries are not reflecting these brand titles to me that not make no sense because i can't go to the supermarket and say okay i work for so and so company i am the executive brand manager for so and so and get a, a trolley full of grocery that is not possible. I can't go to the car dealership and say, give me the Audi there. Give me the Toyota Camry there because I am the brand marketing manager of whatever, whatever company. Or I work for XYZ company. That don't work. That doesn't work. So if the salary is not matching the big title, I don't want it. You can have it. I don't care about the name and the titles. I do not. I have a master's degree with distinction, mind you, that I'm not using. Could I be using it if I wanted to? Probably, but right now I'm very comfortable with what I'm doing and how much I'm making. Do I want to make more? Absolutely, period, because I'm not rich, I'm still broke, but not as broke as I was when I was working these other jobs with all these other titles and it was just and my bank account was not reflecting the titles and the company and the bagger bagger with come with. It not make no sense to me. So I'm saying this to say that you made your choice and you want to go down that path. I made my choice and I choose this path. It make your path make sense to you. Mine make absolute sense to me. Leave me alone. There's absolutely no reason for you to knock anybody's hustle. There's absolutely no reason for you to look down on anything that anybody does that allows them to put food in food on their table and you know take care of themselves and their family. Everybody do what makes sense to them. And I don't care about your expectations of me. Whatever you did expect, whatever you did I look forward to, I don't care about that. What I care about is, is me, pretty much. What, what, I'm, what am I doing? Does it make sense to me? Does it allow me to achieve my goals? Does it bring me closer to, 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 to my destination in life? Does it bring me closer to the person I want to be ultimately? And if all the answers to those questions are yes, then baby, I'm going to do it and I don't give a what you think. And le let me just say, this is not an addressing what people think about me video. It's just me talking about some things and these stories happen to bring out the point. <laughs> anyway, so not too long ago, uh, someone sent me a DM. Was it a DM or a text message or WhatsApp message? Something. But somebody texted me saying, why did you spend so many, so why did you spend so much money getting a master's degree if you're not going to use it? Or why did you spend so much money going to UWE if you're not using any of your degrees? And I just want to say, come take it from me now. Come and take it from me. Come and take it from me. You can't take it from me. So whether or not I'm using it, it's mine for life. You cannot take it from me. I never got stand up on no podium and tell nobody, say, you need to have an education. You need to go to UA. You need to have a bunch of degrees to make it in life. I never do that. No, I never. I never. So, don't come for me. <laughs> do not come for me. Do not come for me. <laughs> at the time, at the time, having 
a, a, a university degree made sense to me. Doing my master's made sense to me because of what I had envisioned my life to be at the time and where I wanted to be professionally at the time. Now, the more you grow, the more your mindset changes and, 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 and the more the things you want for yourself may change. At the time, I had certain professional and career goals. No, I may still, I probably still have them, but they're not at the forefront of my head right now. No, my focus is achieving certain things and, and the path I'm treading on right now, my degrees are not necessity. I still have them though. And as I said before, you nobody can take it from me. They're mine for life. Whenever I feel like I want to bounce back on them, I can. I can. And I do feel like I get preferences for certain um certain certain things within organizations because I I have these degrees, you know. So it shows that I am teachable and learn and learnable. And I'm also an advanced thinker, an advanced Analysis, and uh, what I'm calling analysis, people do analysis. Hey, uh, come at me, they blah a, a degree to backside. <laughs> no, 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 I don't say it. Don't back at the class, man. I'm not analyzer. I don't know, but it shows that I can make an advanced analysis, you know. Having it kind of helps me a little bit. Having them right now, though I'm not using them, I get a different level of respect because I have it. Because I have it, I am preferred for certain things. When certain things come up, I am the person that, that, is, that, is, that is considered because I have these things, you know. So it comes at a different level of respect having them, though I am not using them. I am, I am spoken to differently because I have them, you know what I mean. So my path is different, they are not a necessity. That is not everybody's path is different. You may be going down a path where you need it. You may be going down a path where it's a requirement for you. For me right now, in this moment, at this point in my life, they are not a requirement. I don't have to show my, my, any, of my, 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 any of my papers. I don't have to show my master's degree. I don't have to show my bachelor's degree. I have them and nobody can take it from me. And the people I work with know I have them. Just a different level of respect that you get knowing that you have it. And not that having people's respect is, is, is very, very important to me, but it's important to be respected because when you are respected, when certain opportunities come up, you are the person that will be considered, which has been my case, pretty much. Which has been my case, pretty much. I don't know if a few years down the line, I'm going to pull for, for my master's degree or my bachelor's degree, but right now I don't have to pull for it. The point I'm making is if I want to, I can always pull for it because it now expire. I never, buy, I never borrow me borrow it, it's mine. And nobody can take it from me, period. Don't knock anyone's hustle. Two, do what works for you. Three, you don't understand other people's lives and what works for other people. The dynamic of our lives are very different. What works for you no work for me. What makes sense to you don't make sense to me. So let's just respect each other's hustle. Let's just try to respect each other's path and each other's journey. Don't not nobody hustle. It not to make sense to you. If it makes sense to them, make them do that. And for the people who like to listen to what other people have to say, for the people who like to do things to please people, for the people who like to do things to be seen, it's going to take you nowhere. Period. It takes you nowhere. Don't, if it makes sense to you, do it. It don't matter what nobody say. I can't stress that enough, say. You really have to live your life for yourself and do what makes sense for you. You are going to lose your way if you try to live for everybody else and do things the way everybody else tell you, say you for the things. You are going to lose your way and you're going to get nowhere, period. So, run your own race, do what makes sense to you and just live life, period.